Well, we saw brightness or color constancy constraint give us more unknowns than the equation. Now the question arises, how are we going to recover it? Obviously, we need some additional constraint and Horn and Sunk gave a solution which is known as a smooth optical flow. They came up with the optimization or minimization of error function with the additional constraint called the smoothness constraint. Using this equation, what we do is we're gonna look at the pixels in the image and we will find up the optical flow for every pixels in one big global optimization. So the optimization problem will come with the brightness constraint, constancy that we have discussed in our previous in our previous lecture and smoothness constancy constraint. The smoothness constancy means the optical flow should be smooth, which means if we take u differentiate with respect to x then square it and take u again differentiate it with respect to y uh, and uh, square it and similarly uh, do it for v as well the derivative has to be small or should be small because it's smooth and the change is small that is called the smoothness constraint so uh, using this constraint, we formulate the new minimization function including the brightness constraint that is EC and the smoothness constraint which is the ES and uh, here we can see the lambda which is the weighting factor. Bigger the weighting factor is, the more satisfying the brightness constancy constraint is. So the smaller the weighting factor, the more constraint uh, the smoothness constraint dominates here in this optimization function we have to take the double integral we have seen the double integral and minimize that this is the smooth this is smoothing mm, this is something called variational calculus it is similar to the regular calculus as you know in regular calculus we have function we have to differentiate it and set it to zero and find the minimization or minimum or maximum value so when we have this here we have a function is a function which is called functional which is function of function so the basic idea is very similar to the regular calculus now we want to minimize this function and we're going to differentiate it with respect to uh, we have we, we, with respect to um, u and set it to z zero and again differentiate with respect to p and set it to 0. Now here we can see we get two equations and two unknowns which we can solve. Now we get the same brightness equation and derivative of the smoothness equation with respect to u or we can see here this is the same brightness equation and uh, plus the diff uh, derivative of uh, smoothness constraint and here the term dfi du or the derivative of smoothness is different uh, which we can differentiate using the multivariable chain rule and which can be written now if we differentiate it with respect to uh, like dfi du which can be further um, uh, differentiate with respect to x and with respect to y and we get twice u uh, x x which is the double derivative of x uh, and u uh, that is the double derivative of the uh, u with res double derivative of u with respect to y which is the Laplacian of u and we get the simultaneous equation at every pixels where we can estimate u and v we have talked about the Laplacian in our previous classes that uh, 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 that we have used this for uh, some kind of edge detection. Here, um, we uh, in our previous equation we have we used that for the edge detection. Here we use it for the uh, optical flow, and the optical flow will be uh, two arrays as we have discussed earlier as well which is u and b one is u array and another one is the b array as we know u will have displacement in x direction and b will have displacement in the y direction 
as we have discussed about the Lavalesian in our previous class, this is just the uh, recap of our previous uh, class uh, which we did in our edge detection in, in edge detection and uh, uh, like here um, the Lavalesian um, when we take is the derivative in x direction again take the derivative in y direction and again we take the derivative in x direction and derivative in y direction and we sum it up uh, here the, we can see derivative in x direction and another mm, this is one way to mm, find the uh, Lavalesian and another wo way is to find now if we sum it up we get this uh, equation and this equation can be represented can be uh, implemented using a mask for 2d function here uh, like we can see different mask uh, and in this particular case we use the uh, third number mask and uh, what that says is like uh, let's see this this is our mask and uh, uh, we weight uh, the central pixel by 1 and 4 neighboring pixel by the minus 1 by 4 we can see here like in this uh, uh, this uh, expression give us the mask and uh, we then we can approximate the value of the central pixel uh, minus the average of 4 pixel the Lavalesian can be estimated by using the uh, by uh, taking by uh, by taking the diff difference of central pixel this central pixel and the average of four neighboring pixels and uh, uh, this u is our central pixel and u average u av is the uh, center uh, is the neighboring is the average of its neighboring four pixels <coughs> And now, if we go back to our uh, uh, original equation, we can see like here uh, we can see that um, here is the equation and. Uh, uh, after we differentiate we get this equation and we can approximate uh, the Laplacian uh, by weight averages uh, by weight averaged computed in the neighborhood around pixel x y here like uh, this gives us the uh, difference of central pixel and its neighbors for u and for v and now we can rearrange after rearranging uh, the terms we get the two equations and two unknowns then uh, we write b in terms of u here and u in terms of v and plug it in the other equation and finally we estimate the u and v here we can estimate u and v uh, and uh, here uh, what we do is all the variables are known here i x it is the derivative of uh, i with respect to x and derivative of i with respect to y and i t gives the uh, temporal derivative and we can see here all the um, variables are known except u a v z and v a v z so uh, what we do is we, we estimate u and v iteratively and for that what we do is we set u and v initially to 0 so initially this u average and v average will be 0 and we compute uh, then we compute u and v and again we put that value in next iteration we go again now we have u and v and we compute u average and v average from four neighboring mm, neighboring pixels uh, four neighbors and we keep going this is the algorithm here mm, we estimate three derivatives ix iy and it 
and get the UNB iteratively and here we have got the images like the random dots images and each pixel here is randomly uh, black and white and object in the middle which is uh, moving one pixel to the right uh, from the first pixel to the next here we can see we have got the uh, here is the random dots and it has uh, some kind of square in the middle and in the next figure what we have is we have shifted it one pixel right and when we give this um, as input to the algorithm we get this kind of optical flow here uh, what we see is in first iteration uh, we get uh, some of the um, optical flow are correct and uh, if we keep doing iteratively and in tenth iteration we get this correct one and which is the output of uh, horn and song optical flow yes this from this we can estimate u and b or we get the uh, optical uh, flow uh, in iteratively and for this very simple uh, for this very simple images, we get the correct iteration, correct uh, optical flow in the tenth iteration. Here's another example, and here we estimate the optical flow in from the needle diagram. And after one, four, and sixteen, uh, one, four, sixteen, and sixty-four iteration of the algorithm.